art of making people happy with food. Hello and welcome to Cooking with Oliver. I'm your host, Oliver. Today we'll be making a grand surprise for my friend Arthur. He's quite the opposite of me, but he does love tea. So we're going to make him some tea cup cupcakes. Isn't that clever? I thought so. So, the first thing you do is add your flour, your sugar, your baking powder, and your gelatin and your salt into a bowl and you whisk it. This lets the air get in so your cupcakes are nice and fluffy. Next, you make a sort of indentation in the middle of all the powder. As such, then you add your vegetable oil and your cold water to it. Next, I'm going to show you a smashing way to get egg whites. We need seven. You want to get a plastic bottle like this and wash it out very nicely. Very clean. Squeaky clean. You crack your first egg and put it in one container. Then you squeeze the air out of your bottle and suck up the yolk and put it in another container. Smashing! Then you put your egg yolk in this concoction and your egg white in a separate bowl with some cream of tartar. Now that we've added our cream of tartar to our seven egg whites, we're going to stir, stir, stir with an electric mixer until we have soft peaks and I'll show you what I mean in a second. This is what I mean by a soft peak. Smashing. Now we're going to take the same mixer from this bowl and put it right into this one without rinsing it off first. We're going to stir this until it's just mixed, otherwise it will lose that... Hmm. Dear, how do you say it in French? There's no need to be rude about it. Now we're going to take our egg white mixture and add it to our egg yolk mixture in three batches and fold it in. Make sure not to stir, 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 otherwise you'll lose that je ne sais quoi. Down, up, down, up, down, up, until it's the same colour. Of course I am! Then you get your tin, spray it with cooking oil, and add your batter. After your cupcake gets out of the oven, you want it to cool completely, then you want to put Nutella on the top so it looks like tea for your tea cup cupcakes. And then you want to take melted candy melts and put them over the top like this. You can do two or three layers, but it needs to look even. Next, you're going to get your white candy melts and melt them down in a microwavable bowl. Then you get your Ziploc baggie. Hello. <laughs> Smash it. And you put it in a glass like this. Fold over the edges so it's easier to pour in your liquefied candy melts. Take the bag out. Close it up. Not all the way. So you can let the air come out when you give it one, two twists. Then you cut off the very, very tippy tip. Then you take your piping bag and you pipe just a line. It doesn't have to be very pretty, but it does have to be neat. Over the black line. And you want to do as many of those as you have cupcakes. Now we're going to make it pretty later, but these are the bones. Lovely bones, beneath the warm flesh. Then you 
want to find something round on which to make your saucer for your little teacup. Teacup cupcake. <laughs> you cover it in saran wrap and wrap a little hairband around it so that it stays put. Then you want to cover it with chocolate. Once it's covered in your chocolate or candy melt, you want to smooth it out. And you want to do a few layers of these. Back to our hearts. Once these hearts are nice and dry, you're going to want to embellish them a bit. So what I do is I like to make a little spot, pull up, and you're done. Spot, pull up, and you're done. Once that part is dry, you want to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. After you let the melted candy melt set on the cupcake, you want to add the handle and the saucer with other melted candy melts. This special cupcake is for my friend Arthur, which means that it has a special surprise on the inside. Let's see, shall we? The English flag! Just for my friend Arthur. Sorry I didn't tell you how I did that. You see, it's a secret. If I told you, I'd have to kill you. Join me next week when we make something for Francis. A frog-shaped cupcake. <laughs> this is Chauncey.